Hi guys, thanks for checking out the video. I played in a Devon PGA event last week. Um, had an average round, five over, not overly impressed with my score. But there was some good golf in there. Uh, hit 15 greens, so was quite pleased. Still got a bit of work to do with the putting, unfortunately. But um, this video is actually about one instance that I had in this round that you can really take a lot from and something I certainly wouldn't have done a few years ago, especially when I was a bit younger um, as an amateur. And um, this was on the fourth hole, so if you look at my scorecard, um, I actually bogeyed that hole, which looks um, not ideal, especially for a par five. But this, this hole's actually stroke two at, at Dartmouth uh, Golf and Country Club. Very tight hole, out of bounds down the right, water all down the left. And what, what I did is I hit my tee shot slightly out of play down the right, tried to lay up, got a bit unlucky and it bounced off into the water hazard. Um, but what I want to talk about is what actually happened from here. Because what I did is I dropped the ball out and I had sort of 160 yards, but the ball was quite a bit above my feet. So from 160 yards, I obviously I want to go for the green. But the situation that I had with the ball being above my feet, I'm, it's going to look like I'm going to lose the ball left. I mean, that lies encouraging me to hook the ball, which would, which would go into the water and I've got out of bounds up the right, so I can't really afford to aim right, because if it doesn't hook, I've obviously lose the ball that way. So what I actually did was I chipped it down the fairway. Um, hurt the ego a little bit, but it, it's a great example of not compounding the error. And it's so easy to compound the error when something bad has just happened. So I actually felt very unfortunate that my ball had gone in the water in the first place. I mean, it did take a very big bounce. Um, the course was very wet on that day, so I mean, it, it generally was quite unlucky for me to go in there in two. But what I could have done, and what would have been so detrimental to my performance, and I certainly would have done it a few years back, was then try to make up for that by taking on the next shot. And I, I could have then hit it back in the water, and then all of a sudden, I mean, my score starts to, to go out of control. Um, I laid it up to about 60 yards, um, chipped it to five feet and hold the putt. So that's actually how I made the bogey. So I was obviously very pleased with that result there. But I was actually quite pleased more so with my strategy and actually not letting my emotions dictate what I did. I mean, it was quite obvious that the shot wasn't on because of the situation I had with the ball above my feet. But a lot of people would have taken the shot on anyway because oh, I've already taken a penalty, I need to make this shot back up. It's kind of where golf is so much different from other sports, is you really need to stay focused, stay composed and actually then make the right decision. I feel in that case it was. So, especially if, you, if you're a handicapped golfer and you've got shots, do you mean it might even be a case of chipping it down, chipping it on, making your seven with a shot. You've, you've got a point, yes, we don't want to get points in stable foods, we want the twos, the threes, the fours, but in the long term, and especially if this situation happens three, four times in a, in a round, I mean, you'll actually come out with an overall a better score. Um, I'm using this hole in isolation, but as we all know in golf, it probably happens three, four, five times in a round. So if you take it on once and get away with it, that kind of doesn't justify that being correct. Because if you do that five times, you'll probably find half the time it won't come off, plus it won't be an even distribution. The times that it doesn't come off, you'll have a horrendous score. You won't just drop that one or two shots. If it was match play, do you mean like with the Ryder Cup coming up, if I dropped it out and it's match play, obviously it would have been in my best interest to take the shot on. But in a stroke play event, it's just really, like I say, stay composed, and make sure that you're just trying to get your best score rather than trying to force the issue because you've already made a mistake. Don't compound the issues. Anyway guys, I hope this helps. Get some comments down below and I hope to catch you soon.